What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a few updates we have added to our add-ons in order to keep you in the loop and show you how to use our latest builds. I'm going to be talking about two updates in this video. One is for our Chaos Explosion Destruction add-on and one is going through how to use our new procedural asset in our City Builder 3D add-on. I do want to say thank you for watching. We just passed 10,000 subscribers, so I really appreciate the support and there will be a lot more videos and tutorials on visual effects in the future. Anyways guys, the first update we have for you is in our Chaos add-on for Blender 3.0. And if you have used Chaos in the past, you may have noticed that we've had these smoke plume and wind pulse operators and they worked for a while. And then in Blender 2.93, some of the API changed in Blender, so we had to discontinue them. But in Blender 3.0, we've now figured out a way to get them back. So these two operators will be available to you. And I'll put a link to a video on how to use them in the description because I mainly just wanna cover the update on this. But to give a quick run through here, uh, essentially this one will allow you to create a flow object that pulses fuel. So as you can see, if we click it here, we'll have a menu system that pops up and you can choose the highest fuel rate for your smoke plume flow object, your lowest fuel rate, and then the fuel pulse timing. And then of course, to initiate the actual smoke plume, you can just press the button right here. And as you can see here, we have this smoke plume flow object as well as our smoke domain containing the chaos fire shader. And uh, you can bake this out and create a pretty nice looking smoke plume. As I mentioned, we've also updated our wind pulse operator as well. So if you want to add a wind pulse to your smoke plume to give it a little bit more shape, you can of course do the same thing here. Click on the wind pulse button, create your highest wind strength, your lowest wind strength, and the pulse timing for that wind pulse. And if you've been using Chaos for a while, you may have noticed that we discontinued the dialog box version of this because it was causing a little bit of error, but we just have it in our menu system for now, which uh, does the same thing. So go ahead and click on wind pulse here. And now as you can see here, if we play through our scene, we have a nice uh, wind pulse that's uh, going to add some variation to your smoke you know, once you actually bake out your smoke domain here. So that's our first update for the Chaos add-on. Rest assured, these smoke plume and wind pulse operators now work in the latest version. So that'll be for Blender 3.0. If you have Chaos, go ahead and go to your Blender Market Downloads and uh, download that build labeled Chaos with Destruction Tools install file for Blender 3.0. But anyways, the second update that I was mentioning is for our City Builder 3D add-on. For the last couple of videos, if you're following this channel, you've probably seen us use our new procedural sci-fi blocks complex by Rui Wong. And we've collaborated with him to add this asset by him in our City Builder 3D add-on for Blender. So uh, whenever you install the new procedural City Builder 3D install file, you'll have all of your various procedural buildings as well as any of the other packs that you install. I haven't installed them all yet here, but uh, you know, you have over 100 city building assets for you in this add-on. But I wanted to cover how to use the procedural sci-fi blocks complex. We've covered how to use the procedural favela, the procedural Hong Kong, and the procedural bricks complex in the past. And these are pretty simple. They use geometry nodes. So as you can see, if I add procedural favela, it'll come into the center of our scene here. And you can just go to the modifier tab and you can change the length, the width, the height and you know add some randomness to it as well so this is the basic setup on how to use these three procedural favela hong kong and bricks complex but the sci-fi blocks complex by rui huang is a little bit different so i'll go ahead and show that here so we'll go ahead and click on that one here and it will come into the center of our scene here but uh, as you can see here if we select it you'll notice that it's not actually using geometry nodes but rather a variety of old school modifiers here so you can do several things to adjust the variation in this procedural sci-fi blocks asset for one you can actually just move it around and it will vary its general shape the other two things i recommend you try to do is uh, just under the remesh modifiers so there are two of them here you can just change the ox tree depth on each of them. So for example, if I increase this one or decrease it, you'll notice that I'm getting a slightly different result, a little bit more boxy result if we bring it down. And you know, just kind of play around with the ox tree depth for each of these. So you can change this first one, which kind of tends to uh, adjust the larger scale detail in my experience. And then if you go to the second remesh modifier, you notice that it kind of adds smaller scale detail if you play around with it like so. And then of course, you know, if, if you still move it around, it'll change accordingly as well. So you can get some a little bit more organic shapes if you increase the ox tree depth here. But uh, this is the general idea here. I'll go ahead and go to rendered view to show you guys what this asset looks like. 
you can see as it's rendered here, it's a science fiction style procedural asset that, uh, you know, we've used this as a kind of city in the sky. You can put it as a space station, for example. You can combine uh, multiple versions of these to create a huge space station or something. But yeah, super uh, awesome asset by Rui Huang that we've added to our City Builder 3D add-on. Of course, to finalize your procedural settings so that you can actually move it around without it changing everything, you can just apply these uh, modifiers one by one here like so, all the way down to the uh, particle system tab, and then you can click on make instances real, and then apply them as well. And now, as you can see here, we can move this around, you know, rotate it, however, and now the shape will remain the same. And the same process goes for the sci-fi tower complex. These are both two similar assets here, so feel free to give them a try, make some cool visual effects shots with them. I'm sure we'll use a lot of our City Builder 3D assets in many future visual effects projects on this channel as well. But uh, yeah, anyways guys, that is it for this quick update video. I hope it was helpful. I'll be releasing lots more visual effects tutorials coming very soon. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.